Good morning, everyone. This is Jennifer. Today I have the Battle of the Mystery Bags, um, Crafters Companion versus Tonic Studios. So they both have great mystery bags, and I thought we could compare the two um, since, you know, it's an investment each of us makes. So let me just jump in. I'm going to start with the Crafters Companion. Now, this one was basically for mom. It was called the Weekend Super Saver Flowers for Mom, mom <laughs> Mystery Bag. And it was, with platinum pricing, it was $32. So this one is about $10 more than the Tonic Studio one. Um, so just putting that right out there. The first thing that came with it was 10 sheets, Centura Pearl of the Baby Pink. Okay. The next thing, and I was very excited about this, was the Rocker Cards. So I couldn't believe this was in there because they're still, like, selling a whatever it was, 29, 25, whatever. Um, it makes 20 cards. You can kind of see on the back, but let me just show you the, uh, these are so stinking cute. I mean, they do fold flat, so you can see that it comes with envelopes for them. It's basically, I think it's five by seven envelope size, if I'm not mistaken, and they rock. Isn't, and isn't that sweet? And here's another one. This is Thanks a Bunch with the little flowers. Again, rocks. It's dimensional. I, I love these. I have a couple of their other kits. I think they're really fabulous. Um, I'll show you the one. Let me just show you real quick because they're so cute. Is If I can just show you the, the front pieces. This one has lots of like the roses. Look at the butterflies. You see that with the colors on it and then we have the purple one which is look at this a teacup with the spoon and everything with like the purple flowers the green and purple gorgeous then it has I think the last one oops, if I can pull up the back part hang on one second is a little birdhouse. I mean, how cute is that? Celebrate new beginnings. Adorable. So, there's so many pieces left over in each one. Let me just show you. So, I made those two cards, as you could see right here. Okay? And they have plenty of layers and dimension and everything on there. And still, I have, you can see in the baggie, tons of sentiments um, just from those two sentiments and flowers and the different ephemera pieces so you could certainly make more cards obviously on other bases or cut out however you want to do that okay the next thing that came with it is one of the Sharon Callis the flower fairies if you have the whole set had this but this is the aster and this is the little flower that um, came with it. So I did this. I think I probably would do it next time. It's so, so pretty. Can you see the dimension on it? I haven't put a sentiment on it yet. I'm not sure where that will be going. But the quilling, if you haven't tried it, is so super, super easy. I really like the leaf that came in here. And if you look at the bottom here, and I didn't put them on mine, and I should have because you can see this, okay? You don't really want that. Um, it's, you make it... In, a little green and it's you know like the leaf that would have covered that so I'm thinking how I can fix that <laughs> on my card but it still looks beautiful so that was the next item in it then we have let's see this one one of the pop out um, spiral pop out flowers so those if you haven't had them before you just cut them out glue the two pieces it comes all in one and when you you know as a surprise and then the little these little pieces came with it as well even the thank you so that's why i put it on there okay the next one is the flourishing flowers it is a cut and emboss you can see that so we did a sample of that again i don't have sentiments on these for the most part because i just don't know where they're going yet um super easy single pass here i kind of colored them in you can see and i you know, okay, so the next item is the, the big 7x7 seven seven Rosebud Floral Stencil. Did not try this one out, but I was very excited to get it. One, it's really big. Two, look at how pretty that is. I mean, that's gorgeous. And you never see the big ones, so you can do 5x7 five seven cards. You know, not that I would probably do 7x7 uh, seven seven because of postage, but very pretty to have. Next one is 
the blooming florals these are the abstract stamps i believe they called them this is the one in the um flower pattern here i just put it on a a2 size card i just used the fuchsia i wanted to stamp that and again going to put a sentiment just across the middle or this way whichever way thank you so much you're wonderful you make me smile okay next one um, haven't had a chance to try this yet. Flowers and buds. I, for some reason, I think I bought this whole set because I recall using one of the other ones, but not the mandala. I remember that. But uh, it's a four by six and it's the resist. So you can stamp it dark or the white you emboss and then just color over it. But that came with it as well. And the last item was the iris folding and it, the poppies. So pretty. Had never tried this. I did not purchase these. It comes with, you can see the little um, diagram, super easy. Just tape it on the back. And it came with the paper, which is very thin. I don't know what the GSM on the paper is. I'm not sure if it tells you. I didn't see it on there. But I imagine very thin, almost like copy weight paper in different colors. So it's probably easy enough to get. And that produced... Um, a five by seven card and you just cut these out. I loved it. Actually, it was kind of like doing a jigsaw puzzle. So I thought it came out so pretty. These are the only colors, but I was like, oh, I want to get other colors for the the actual flower parts. I put just a little gem and again, it's waiting for its sentiment. And then once you did that, popped it up on the foam so you can kind of see. I just did it all the way around, a couple in between, and I really like it. And even... Um, the family thought that was really cool. Okay, so that is the Crafter's Companion. That is their bag. And as platinum, it was 32. For everyone else, it would be 40, I guess. Okay, so the tonic one, this was from about, like I said, a month and a half ago. The first and the big one in here is this box. What do they call this? Squeeze box, heart squeeze box. Love it. It was super easy to do. Here you can see the pieces on it. Super easy to do. Um, I care just did it uh, in white with some pretty lilac glitter on it. And this says lots of love. I left the side open so you could put in, you know, whatever you want. Or you could, of course, seal it and make them rip it open. And it just ties shut. And it's a nice, really nice size. I was really, really pleased with it. So the bottom is two and a half by two and a half. Okay, so you have that. And then it's about three and a half tall but it I mean it's a good amount in there that it would fit I just love that so I was really pleased with that then the next one let's see here we go is again another nice size die set it is called mini devoted doily die set and it has like a couple little hearts I don't know if you can see them with the reflection here here started on my card again waiting for a sentiment um, and like flower, a little bit of bling, I'll be adding on there. But the actual die is just about four and three quarters. I'm assuming this way too. Yeah, four and three quarters by four and three quarters. And it has the different layers on here. So there's like the inside, then the ring, then this, then there's a cutting layer. So you can do that up any of the different ways you want. So we've got that one. Then... It, let's see the next one would be here's just a simple one and it is what is this one called blushing blossom diamond patchwork die set again I guess if you would do a couple of these I just grab some scrap paper but it, to do a couple of these on the front and then trim it would look really pretty so real simple very pretty design okay that was the next one next we have has sorry I pretty sure I already have these I'm so sorry, and it's a nice size. I don't know if you can see. I probably should have opened that so you could see the size of it, but it's a pretty good size. I'm so sorry. I forgot. I'm so sorry. It's late. So really cute, but I like those. We also received, I use these. I think they're supposed to be like an like edgeable staggered art deco header fold die set. So I don't know. <laughs> I think the pattern's really neat. I think of it as like an edgeable kind of thing, but I keep thinking like a header. Is it supposed to be on top of like, I don't know. I guess just this part sticks out over just like an edgeable would be, which is really, really neat with the Art Deco. I got the Sentiment, which is 
welcome home um, decent size so that's three inches there very nice I got what else was in the baggie here oh yeah I like this one HB2U here you go I cut it out just black and gold HB2U cute it's like one and three quarters squared but I like that I like when they have a shadow and I especially like this HB2U for men's cards I think that's just I don't know it, it's a nice way to put it and I'll show you what I got to go with them then the last one in the their mystery bag again this one was should have said that 25 but I have the club so it was 2250 because you get 10% off if you're getting the monthly craft kit and just so you know you don't have to get it every month like I skip some months and I'm still getting my 10% I'm still part of the membership at least that's how it's been right now so this one is called mini jasmine sunset die set Very, really pretty um, three and three quarters squared so this fit here's my four by six card again waiting for my sentiment and I think I'm gonna end up I was thinking of using some of these these are like the Dollar Tree um, or no these are what do you call it Hobby Lobby there you go Hobby Lobby flowers and I'm sure I got those when those were the 50% off but I like these little ones they're you know they're pretty they pop they're three-dimensional and I don't have to make them so thinking of that on this or the pink but this one just is pretty I put like one layer up there with the foam dimensional really cute like that so that is what came in there so there's about 10 my cost ten dollars difference between the two sets so I'm wondering you know do you like it because this one has the box or this one has um, you know your uh, quilling in it and it has cut and emboss I this was more the crafters companion also was more of a special one because it was for Mother's Day I don't think they're always quite as good and I do buy a lot of them the other thing I bought on tonic that day they have the little like mini sets and this was probably about I don't know nine dollars and it's just two of the little these have the stars in them do they have a name for them um, starburst circle die set and starburst square die set but I just think they're cute I like them because I use a lot of stars in my crafts and I think they're especially good for men and just made like two little four by four cards again no sentiment on them yet but just layered them up and whether I use like that HBTU I probably wouldn't put that in there I'd find something a little different but you get the idea really quick and easy so together this this tonic equals the same amount as the um crafters companion and when you combine them so like 32 and 32 you're at basically the same amount of items and the same price so i would love to know please tell me what you guys what do you who do you like better do you think one's a better deal than the other i honestly i love them both <laughs> so but i thought it was good for people to see because you know what you don't always have dollars to buy everything so thanks so much for popping by. I appreciate you taking the time to watch and I'll see you back again real soon. Bye for now.